Hi, everyone. Welcome to Kiki and Kibitz. It's Mary, and I'm here with tonight's edition of Love After Lockup, Life After Lockup, Love During Lockup, Word on the Street. I'm going to make this brief, you guys, especially since my mother-in-law just walked in. Tonight's my husband's birthday. He's passed out sleeping on the couch, but my mother-in-law is here. But I have to, I have to drop this tonight. Maurice has been arrested again, y'all. And Dylan and Marissa, it looks like they're not getting married on my 50th birthday. Let's dive right into it, guys. Let's get into it. Maurice has been arrested again, y'all. Oh, my goodness. They arrested Mandy's husband. What is Mandy going to do? Oh, my goodness. I mean, this comes... About a week or so after they were celebrating her birthday in Vegas, y'all. I mean, Mandy, she got all decked out. And, um, you know, Maurice is arrested now, y'all. That's all I have to say. And as you can see, it's a felony charge. He was arrested yesterday. And um, he was booked today. And his court date is on Tuesday the 19th. There was no bail. Okay, so he looks like it's being held without bail. And um, I decided to see if I could get further information about the charges because there was no charges listed on the site. So I found the Glendale PD call log for around the time that was Maurice was arrested. So... um. As you can see here, he was arrested at around 20, 2020, which makes it approximately 9 p.m. on the 15th, okay? So I went and I looked at the call log, and um, I'm pretty sure it's one of the theft calls, but, you know, once I get more information about Maurice's charges, you know I'll get back to you, y'all. Now, Mandy herself, after she got home from Vegas, this is her public service announcement, y'all. <clears throat> My best Mandy voice. Now, y'all see why I can't ever post where I'm at. Shaking my head. I have real stalkers. Someone called my hotel and said Callie was alone, yet we was all in there sound asleep. Shaking my head. The security lady felt so bad that we had people sneaking pics of my family and posting them. That's sad, y'all. Talk so much shit, but don't speak. But don't speak. Be scary as fuck. Sneaking pics. Why you don't say how you feel in my face and see what happens? A bunch of exclamation points. Y'all real fans, your whole life would stop the moment I stopped posting. A bunch of laughing faces. Well, it seemed like um, Mandy might have gotten into a little trouble, okay? Because someone called the hotel and said Callie was unattended in the room. As you can see, Callie was there to celebrate her mom's birthday with the candles and the balloons and the cards and the teddy bears and everything else. And Mandy was like, oh, wow. Well, anyway, so y'all, all I have to say is thank goodness Jessica and her family are stable, okay? And Maurice's son, you know, unfortunately, he doesn't have a father figure in his life, but sometimes it's for the best, in my opinion, in this case. Felon Friday's return, April 19th. Yes, the Mama June break is almost over, okay? Now, these are the six couples that are going to be appearing on Love During Lockup starting, as I said, Friday, April 19th. As I get more information about the couples, I will pass that along to you guys. Charlie's parents. Now, all I have to say is I love this shirt. Okay, this is a fucking great shirt. Okay, and Eris and Cam, they are one of my favorite couples out of this whole franchise. That's all I have to say. Now, I love this look on Eris, 
And I love this look on Key Rock. Okay, slaying the looks, guys. You guys are slaying your looks. Chevelle and Quaylon. Chevelle, you know, she's working. She, she's, you know, bringing in the bags. And she feels very blessed. Okay, she's single. She's proud of it. And she's doing what she has to do to support herself and her daughter. Quaylon is being Quaylon. Blaine is enjoying the country life. Okay. Hanging out with Keegan and his friends and doing all the country stuff that I don't do because I'm an urban girl, but just saying. Now, is that a wedding ring? And Joy has had it, okay? So first, is that a wedding ring on uh, Melissa's finger? Asking for myself, asking for a friend, asking for a bunch of people. And um, why does she always have to take pictures where her tongue's sticking out. And why is she wearing a long sleeve sweater and Daisy Dukes with her ass hanging out? That I'm asking for myself, okay? Joy, she says there's a whole lot of fake stuff going on. I ain't with it. I feel you, girl. Just saying. Now, we have a, a Emily and Dorari update. You guys remember Emily and Dorari, okay, from season two of love during lockup. First, I want to say I love Emily's hair straight. Okay. And I actually messaged her to tell her this. And I understand with her having all this curly hair, like me and this mop. Okay. It takes a lot of time and effort to get it straight and all pretty. And I just wanted to let her know I love her hair straight, but I understand that it's a pain in the ass to get it to look this way. So now, as for Emily and Dorari, okay, word on the street is Dorari's going to be home soon. So that's fucking fantastic news. So as I get more info, I'll let you guys know. Derek shenanigans. Oh, I think I need to light my clip of a joint for this one, guys. Okay. Because I don't understand why Monique and... Derek's wife or 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 fake wife or whatever she is. Okay, just for the record, I never found a filed marriage license between Angel and Derek, but just saying, I gave up looking for it months ago. Monique took to her Facebook, okay? And you see what she had to say? She's like, I don't know who's worse, her fan club or that tacky ass fake wife. Um, somebody said, I've read a sample of the book and the book sucked. So, I mean, there's like all this dragging going on back and forth. And Monique even went so far to put this post up. Okay. And she's like, they want to play with me. I'm going to play with them. And it says posting for a friend of mine, looking for a man or woman companionship. Feel free to hit him up on getting out. Ohio Lorraine Correctional Institution, Derek War Warner Jr. drops his um drops his number. You prefer locals, but open to talking to anyone. Okay, so now there's a lot of back and forth again going on between Monique and Derek's wife, or maybe fake wife, or baby mama. I don't know, whatever the case may be. Mm, let me take a pull out of this lump before it goes out on me. And these two are making my head spin. And I do not understand why they are fighting over a five foot four Derek. Okay. I mean, if I was to meet Derek in person, I'm four foot 11. I would probably see like directly eye to eye with him. Okay. I don't understand why these two women Hey, Angel, if you're married to him and you're securing your marriage, why are you doing all this online? And Monique, if you don't give a fuck, why are you doing this all, all online? Asking for myself. Now, Dylan and Marissa are not getting married on my 50th birthday. First, they announced their registry and they put a link to their registry, and they wanted us to basically pay for their honeymoon right down to souvenirs, okay? As you can see, it says April 5th, 2024, which is my 50th birthday, 
And I was taking it really hard that these two morons were going to get married on my 50th birthday. Now, I don't know if the comments in the guest book got to them or uh, they're, they're toxic back and forth or whatever is going on between the two of them. Or if this was all just a scam for us to pay for a vacation for them. Well, the registry's gone. Okay? And uh, I find that very, very interesting. So, are Dylan and Marissa still getting married on my 50th birthday? Or was this just a ploy for stupid people to pay for their vacations? Asking for myself. Heather and Xavier. Heather and Xavier show signs of life. Okay? Now, I'm going to do a separate Heather update video, because there has been so much going on with Heather in like the past week. She got kicked out of her first shelter, was walking around all night, and now apparently her and Xavier have been placed by the city of Chicago in an old, like, kind of fancy hotel. So now she, re so now basically she got what she wanted, um, to stay in a fancy Chicago hotel. Okay, so, which is now a homeless shelter, but hey. Um, I'm going to do a whole video about her within the next couple of days or so. So just to give you guys a, a, an update wrap up of what's going on in the crazy world of Heather. But as you can see in the green sweater behind Heather, Xavier lives. Okay. I was, um, I'm always worried about Xavier. Okay. But I was really worried about him when they got kicked out of the first shelter. Okay. Xavier's okay. As you can see, he's in the room with Heather. Now some miscellaneous updates, and I'm going to have to let you guys go and go hang out with my mother-in-law. Jana, if this is you stepping out of your comfort zone, I totally condone it, okay? Girl, you look fucking good. And happy birthday, Penelope. I remember when I was interviewing Jana, Penelope actually interrupted our interview, and she is adorable. That's all I have to say. Um, I am jealous of Nathan and Skylar. They're sitting on a beach in Florida. I wish I could be sitting on a beach in Florida, but I am grateful and blessed that I will be going on my own 10 day Caribbean cruise to celebrate my birthday next month. So I'm just counting down to my cruise. Renika looking beautiful as always. I love this new look on her. And Tish, um, she has a public service announcement for herself. The same bitches that talk shit about me being married to a man incarcerated are the same bitches in his likes. Go ahead, girl. You tell it. Commenting on his post and in his DMs. Surprise, bitch. You talking to his wife. Fake ass, fake hating assholes. Y'all hate my relationship because you want it. Preach it, girl. Preach it. I I could I I would like to see the look on the bitches' faces when they realize that they're not talking to Keith in the DMs. Now, before I close out this edition of Word on the Streets, I just want to say I used to think I had a lot of friends, but now I realize I just know a lot of people. And the people that are truly my friends, I hold them dearly to my heart. Thank you so much, guys, for watching me. Please subscribe if you don't already. Hit that like button. Share my video with a friend or 10. And please consider joining my membership. Thank you so much and see you next time. Bye, guys.